Hello everyone and welcome to this short series on how to set up Visual Studio Code for programming in Fortran. Throughout the following episodes I will show you how to install Visual Studio Code alongside with some very helpful extensions that will provide syntax highlighting, auto-completion and many other interesting features. I will also explain to you how to automate your building routines as well as to set up Visual Studio Code for graphical debugging with GDB. Once we're done, you should be able to use VS Code as a complete integrated development environment. Please notice that I will set up VS Code on a Linux-based operating system. If you wish to use these instructions on a Windows or Mac machine, you might need to make some certain modifications that I will not capture here. If you have VS Code already installed on your computer, you can directly skip to the next episodes. For all others, let's dive right in and install Visual Studio Code on this machine. Unfortunately, the official package sources of Linux do not include VS Code. This means we would need to install the editor manually. But luckily this is not a big problem. As a first step, you would need to download Visual Studio Code. For this, go to code.visualstudio.com and download the associated package. In my case, since I'm running on a Ubuntu Linux system, I would just choose the Debian package here. Once the download is done, you would need to open up a command line and cd into the download directory. Here you now have the package downloaded to this directory. To install it, just use sudo apt install as well as the package name. Now your package manager has installed Visual Studio Code to your system. If you want to launch it, just type code and you're ready to go. Alright everyone, that's it for this video. In the next episode, I will show you how to set up the most important packages you will need to make VS Code work fine with Fortran. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Otherwise, if you like this video, I would be happy if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye bye.